Dr. Morris actually handed the, the diploma to me, but allowed my father to place the hood, the doctoral hood, over me. A doctorate, and I tell young people this today, a doctorate is what you do for yourself. You don't do it for anyone else. It's too hard, it's too long, and you can't do it for anyone else. You do it for yourself. So I decided, because I was teaching there in commerce, first grade, decided to go in education administration. Was concerned about that I might have to have my father. And so, as a matter of fact, I did have to have him. And I studied harder for that class and harder for those tests because, one, I didn't want to embarrass him. And two, I didn't want people to ever perceive that he had been easier on me. In fact, my superintendent who just retired, we had some doctoral classes together and we had one with dad. He said it took me a long time to even realize that you were his daughter because he treated you just like the rest of us. It made the difference that he always said, I'm proud of you, do what you want to do. And that's what an educator does. And then I was doubly blessed because he was my father as well. But I saw him do that with people that he wasn't related to. And that's what people would tell you when they ask you about M.B. Nelson. They would say he was a kind, caring person. He cared about me and my family and as, as an individual. And he just wanted the best for me. So if his legacy can live on through me, then I am more than blessed to carry that on because he impacted me as, as a human being, certainly, but as an educator as well.